Hey y'all, so today I wanted to give you my review and my experience with the Ketonics. And if you don't know what that is, basically it is a breathalyzer for measuring the ketone bodies, which is acetone that you're breathing um, out of your lungs. And the deeper you can get the air out of you, um, the better the reading's gonna be because that's, that's really where they lie, is in that deep part of your lungs. So, I will say from the very beginning, the customer service has been good. I ordered the product and when you go to their website, you'll see if you do choose to order one, but I went to their website and it said that there was going to be at least a 30 day back order on it. That's a little frustrating. I don't know what the reasoning for that is, but it is what it is. So. I waited the 30 days and then I was hoping that while I was in Texas, because I was in the United States for about a month and a half on vacation, and when I was in Texas, I was really hoping it would come then, but it didn't. So I asked them um, when they sent me the email saying, hey, your product is about to ship. I said, hey, I'm going to be in New Jersey. Is there any way you can actually ship it to me there? Since you're in Maryland, that should only take about a day to get there. So I was super excited to get it, right? So they were able to end up changing the shipping information and get it to New Jersey. Somewhere along the line, either communication with them or through FedEx, something got messed up and it didn't get sent out the day it was supposed to. So I literally got it like the afternoon before we were about to leave. So it's my in-laws uh, lake house that we were staying at, but it's also a vacation rental property that they use. So there was another family coming in after us when we were leaving. So, I mean, I had to get it. If, if it didn't come that day, then I was gonna be screwed. Like, I didn't know what to do. So, fortunately, it did come the day before we were about to leave. So, we, I got it. And then you have to plug it in for 12 hours, um, and then you have to calibrate it. But all that aside, that was pretty easy to do. Um, it comes in this little case like this, and the USB cord right there that plugs into it, which then plugs into your computer. This is to charge, this is the battery, there's an extra mouthpiece. So, you know, it's pretty organized inside the bag. I like it, I like the look of it. Um, everything was great, got it all charged up, and basically you um, plug the Ketonics device into your, there's a USB thing in there, you plug this into your computer. So I plugged it in and I used it and it worked and it was great. And I used it eight times. And on the ninth time in the morning when I was about to use it, I plugged it in. And normally when you plug it in, this lights up blue and it tells you on your computer that it is warming up to give it a second. It usually takes about, I've noticed about five to 10 minutes to warm up. And then once it's warmed up, you blow into it and it has three different adjustments on it for the exhale so you can get the best exhale um, for it and I mean my numbers were in the high high um, like 30 it was 39 38 somewhere around there so I was in ketosis it was great I was loving it um, and then I plug it in for the ninth time to use it and keep in mind I'd only had it for like a week and a half two weeks tops um, so the, it, it said it was warming up and then the light was blue. So I'm like, okay. And then, um, I came back and it had been about 10 minutes. So I figured it was ready. Light wasn't on anymore. So I'm like, okay, it, it should be all blue when it's ready. It turns all blue. This, this portion right here turns all blue, letting you know it's ready for you to exhale into it. And there was no light. I look on my computer and it's not saying anything about warming up anymore. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, no lights come on. I plugged it into the battery pack, no lights come on. And the battery's fully charged. Like it, it gave me the light indicator to show me that it's charged. So no lights came on and that's where it got really frustrating. I shut my computer down. I restarted everything, I plugged it back in, no lights came on. It's as if this device is nothing anymore, like it doesn't work. So I sent them a message and let them know that this is what's going on and that I'm pretty frustrated about this because it was working just fine and 
for it to be as expensive as it is, I would definitely expect a higher quality for it to work more than just eight times. So, and the fact is, if I want a new one, I'd probably have to wait through the war on back order. So you've got to wait another month, month and a half for it. And to me, that's just not worth it. it it's frustrating enough to buy something that's expensive and then it not work like it should. And then have to wait for it to be on back order again. So I'm going to show you, like I'm going to plug it in and show you that it's supposed to light up and that it doesn't light up. And I'm gonna show you the values on my computer where, um, where it was registering and like where everything was working. So let's take a look at that really quick. Come with me. Um, so here's the Ketonics right here. And I'm just gonna plug it in to the computer. And it should, when you plug it in, this should light up and it doesn't. So that's obviously my indication that it's not working. And even when I plug it into the battery pack, it still doesn't work. So then here, this is what I did like on the, on the computer screen here, let me put it like that on the computer screen. Oh, are you guys upside down? Sorry. <laughs> um, on the computer screen, as you can see, I did like this feature a lot you can um you can track everything so you can see and as you can see right here when i started paying a little bit we got back from vacation so i started paying a little bit more attention to my my nutrition it was still in ketosis over here but then when i got back to my normal stuff then you can see the readings were a lot higher so obviously i was excited for you know day number nine right here to get that done but that never happened so sorry i had to take you with me like that um but that's my review and I really, I mean, I can't leave any other type of review saying it was good when it worked. Like I did love it. It was great when it worked, but for it to only work eight times, that's unacceptable in my book. So that's my review for it. Um, I'm sending it back today to them to uh, get a refund processed on it. So I will let you know um, in the post below, I will update how that process is going. But like I said, their customer service, they've been pretty attentive with me in answering my emails and accommodating to changing a uh, shipping address. So I can't really get mad at their customer service, but I am pretty frustrated with the device not working like it should. So I wish I had a better review for you. Like I said, if, if you get one and yours works the whole time then great but I think it only has a 30-day money-back guarantee so if it doesn't break within the first 30 days and it breaks on day 32 I don't know what they would do for you but um, I know there are some people who like it love it um, it works for them and they think it's great but I am now going to go uh, down different avenues looking for other ways to measure my ketone levels and I do know that I am in ketosis so I'm not I'm not stressed about it, but I am just kind of one of those little nerdy people who likes graphs and who likes to track things. And I journal every day about my food, what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, what I'm eating, um, how it's affecting my body. I, I mean, I journal literally everything. I test my blood glu glucose um, to see what foods affect and spike my insulin because that's what I want to do. And that's just me. Nobody else has to do stuff like that, but that's what I'm into. I really like tracking things and I really like knowing where I'm at and if something is or isn't working for my body. So that's my review. I honestly, it's completely in your hands what you wanna do, if you wanna order one or not, but do know that they still do have at least a 30 day back order on it. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could be more help, but in my opinion now, like, obviously I'm getting a refund because I'm not going to wait through getting another 30-day back order before I can even get a new device here to be able to start on it. Like, if it would have been a little different maybe if they would have, when I said, hey, it's broken, and they'd say, all right, girl, like, we will ship you a new one out right now. You ship that one back to us. Totally different if that would have happened. I probably would have kept it and been down with it because that probably would have only taken about a week and a half, two weeks to get out here to Japan where I live. Um, but because that didn't happen, that changed the game for me. I'm not waiting another month, month and a half to get it. Okay. So I hope you found this slightly helpful. 
in making the decision to either get one or not get, not to get one, okay? Talk to you guys later. Check out the rest of the videos. I am making several videos now about my journey into ketosis, how I've stayed in it, what I've been eating, what I've been doing, and how I feel, how my body is. So if you're interested in that, then check out the other videos and check out my blog. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more now that I'm back home in Japan about my journey and about um, more product reviews and stuff, okay? Take care. Talk to you guys later.